difference with decimals. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with sequences here and uh, how do sequences increase and decrease. So how can we use addition with subtraction to describe or create a sequence with decimals? So here's an example here. At Mike's Bike Shop in Santa Cruz, bike rentals cost $5 for one hour, $6.75 for two hours, $8.50 for three hours, and $10.25 for four hours. If this pattern continues, how, uh, how much should it cost Jeff to rent a bike for seven hours? Okay, so a sequence is an, uh, an ordered list of numbers. So we have an ordered list of numbers here, and the term is each number in the sequence. Well, we can find a pattern in the sequence by comparing one term with the next term right next to it. So let's go ahead and write a, uh, the terms we know in this sequence, and then we'll look for a pattern uh, by finding the difference from one term to the next term. Okay, so let me slide that up there, and there's the word problem down here, right down here. So here we go. So we started at $5 for the first hour, and then two to hours, it's $6.75, and then for three hours, it was $8.50, and for four hours, it was $10.25. That's what it says down here. Okay, so let's look for a pattern here. Okay, so the difference between these guys, if we, uh, this one went from here to here, it went up $1.75. So is that consistent? Is it the same if we went up uh, $1.75 again? Is $6.75 plus $8.50 $1.75? Yes, it is. So uh, if we just keep adding $1.75 and then uh, $8.50 plus $1.75 would be $9.50 plus uh, 75 more cents, which would be $10.25. So we kept adding $1.25 right there. So let's write a rule that describes the pattern of the sequence, okay? Well, uh, one of the rules is this. Uh, from each term, it adds $1.75 in each term. But that's not the only rule. We had to start somewhere. So it starts at $5. So you always have to give your beginning number, your starting number on here. So Otherwise, we wouldn't know where to start with $1.75. So the rule is we start at $5, and then uh, it increases $1.75 okay, for each additional hour right there. Okay, Always make sure you start with the beginning number and then how much it increases. All right, so let's extend the sequence to solve uh, problems here. So, um, so it, uh, remember the question down here says if the pattern continues, how should it cost Jeff? To, how much should it cost Jeff to rent a bike for seven hours? Okay, so here's one hour, right, or one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five, six, seven. So let's keep adding a dollar seventy-five right there. So ten twenty-five plus a dollar seventy-five. If we did our arithmetic correct, and I've already done it, so yes, it's $12. And this one's easy. 12 plus $1.75 is $13.75. Okay, and then I like just add a dollar, which is $14.75, and then add another 75 cents gives us uh, $15.50 right there. Okay, so it should cost uh, uh, $15.50 to rent a bike for seven hours. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. So what observations can we make about the pattern in the sequence that will help us write a rule? Okay, well, the sequence always, remember, you got to say your starting number. It started at $5, and after that, for each hour, it increased to $1.75. Okay, here's, here, let's write a rule for this pattern in, uh, in this sequence here, and then find the unknown terms in the sequence. All right, what I'm going to first do is uh, find the pattern here, okay? So let's, uh, before we write the rule, let's find the pattern, okay? From 29.6 to 28.3, looks like it's decreasing. So let's do a little subtraction, 29.6 minus 28.3. Okay, so let's look for the first few terms. Is this sequence increasing or decreasing? Well, I can see it's going down, and then from 28.3 to 27, it went down. It went down, so it's definitely decreasing right here. So let's see. 29, so I just subtracted these two numbers. 29.6 minus 28.3 is 1.3. So let's see if it's the same. 28.3 minus 27. If we took off 1.3, does it give us 27? Looks like it, huh, you guys? Okay, let's keep going. So let's subtract um, another 1.3. All right, so that's our pattern. So here, let's go 25.7 minus 1.3 again. So I did that over here, and that's where we got uh, 24.4. Okay, and then we'll subtract 1.3 again. So we get uh, 21.3. You can see I did that over here. Then then we'll subtract uh, 1.3 again. Looks like we're going to have to do a little borrowing right here. Okay, so we did, uh, can't do 1 minus 3, so we borrowed from this. We regrouped from the, the ones right here, made it two ones and 11 tenths right there. So 11 tenths minus 3 tenths is 8 tenths. 
Okay, 2 minus 1 is 1, and then finally 2, so we get 21.8. And, and the other ones are just minus 1.3, minus 1.3. Okay, so we did it kind of backwards here. We found the unknown terms first. Okay, let's write a rule for the pattern now. Okay, so the rule is always start with your first number, and then we subtract. Okay, so here we go. Write a rule. So uh, the sequence begins with 29.6 and goes down or subtracts 1.3 for each term. Okay, so you can say it goes down or subtracts. Okay, which operation can be used to describe a sequence that increases? Well, that's easy. We're just adding, so addition. Which operation can we use to describe a sequence that decreases? Well, that's easy also, subtraction. All right, so explain how we know whether our rule for a sequence would involve addition or subtraction. Well, if it increases, obviously we add. If it decreases, then we subtract. Okay, let's try a couple more here, you guys. So let's write a rule for the sequence and then find the unknown terms. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. So from here to here, six, well, let's subtract because it's going down. Okay, 65.9, 65.3. So if we subtract those guys, um, they, they, it looks like it goes uh, down negative 0.6, and this goes down from here to here, minus 0.6. From here to here, minus 0.6. So it looks like it's decreasing um, uh, minus 0.6. So we got to say the rule right here. So the rule is we start with this number, and it decreases uh, point, uh, uh, goes down, subtracts 0.6 for each term. Okay, this actually says, uh, so this would say it starts at 65. And remember how we say the decimal? And 65 and 9 tenths. And we subtract 6 tenths for each term. You can say it starts at 65.9, subtracts uh, 0.6. Okay, so there's our rule. So now we're going to subtract uh, 65.3 minus 0.6. Okay, there we go. And we get 64.7. Okay, you can see I had to do some regrouping over here. Borrowing. Okay, this one says we're going to start at uh, uh, 0.35. And, and the sequence on this one is go uh, add uh, 0.15. Okay, and we're going to write the first four terms. Okay. Well, we already know the first one. We just got to figure out the next one. So we're just going to go plus uh, one point or plus 0.15 plus 0.15 plus 0.15. Okay. So here we go. So we get 0.5, and then this guy's going to get 0.65, and then finally 0.80 or just 0.8. Okay. This is 0 0.50, but um, they usually don't include it unless it's needed here. So. 0 0.50, 0 0.65, and 0.8. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and see you in the next one.